Hello Mr. William Smith. How are you doing? I feel good Dr. Dispenza, everything is fine. It's good, I'm glad to hear that. So tell me doctor, what's the news? Mr. Smith, I don't know how to tell you but... On the last results of your tests, we found a rare and dangerous disease in your heart. At the moment we need tests to confirm, but it appears to be a disease that affects 1 in 100 million people. It begins with pain in the heart, then decreases the heart rate, and can lead to death within hours. Doctor, why out of 100 million people on the planet this disease happened to me? I can't answer that question, Mr. Smith, these are the things that happen. Take this day to prepare yourself, because if the additional examinations are positive you will have to be hospitalized tomorrow. I felt healthy though, why is this disease coming on now? I wanted to spend more time with my family and work on my projects. It's sad, will I die? What's going on? God if you are here please help me my family still need me. 20 hours later. <coughs> 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 Mr. William Smith, I'm Dr. McThumble, my friends. Call me Mr. Motivator. How are you doing this morning? My whole body is on fire. I have never had such severe pain. This disease consumes me more and more. When did you start to have pain? When the Dr. Dispenza revealed to me in great detail the characteristics of the disease. I started to feel each of these symptoms inside me, as if they had been activated. Now I want to address all professionals in the medical field. You all know that the psychological aspect is very important and even vital for the sick. Reason why you are using placebo for treatment. But why don't you change this way of informing your patients about their condition? Like Mr. Smith, millions start to get sick when they are told they are not lucky enough and especially when the disease is made so powerful that they feel helpless. At this time, their brain is transmitting negative information and the body is producing stressful emotions that decrease the effectiveness of the immune system. It's time to turn things around and stop killing your patients. Now I'm going to speak to all the people who are sick right now. Regardless of the situation and the doctor's prognosis, develop and maintain a warrior mind. You can't control disease but you can control your immune system and your mind. Eat everything that is organic and good for your health, develop the emotions of love, joy and gratitude, and reject anything that is a source of pain and anger. Courage to those who are fighting for better health. 